LED Info. My name is Ron. We're in the LED Info test lab. Today we're reviewing the BloomSpec S1000. And this is the fourth BloomSpec that we've reviewed. We've been very impressed with the BloomSpec models so far. They've all tested consistently well and they're reasonably priced. We're going to do our normal set of tests today. We'll do a full PPFD grid. We'll determine the average PPFD for the entire grow area. And then we'll use that number to compute uh, the DLI, the daily light integral. We'll also test the light in-house for the actual watt usage. And if any of you have questions about the terms that we're using, DLI and PPFD and what they mean, we have what I think are pretty easy to understand explanations on our website. It's ledinfo.org. So if you're so inclined, you know, check that out. Maybe we can help clarify things for you. Also, we made a list of all the lights that we reviewed. Uh, we put it in the description section along with the links. So if there's other lights that you're looking for, you know, check it out as possible. We've already reviewed them. And that's what we're looking for. We want to provide a comparison tool for those of you that are shopping for LED grow lights. All right, so here's the BloomSpec S1000, brand spanking new right out of the box. The light uses quantum board technology. It has 11.5 by 10.5 inch quantum board. It has 300 LEDs. According to the specification sheet, the light uses white light, warm white light with additional red and infrared LEDs. And that'll produce a natural sunshine type of spectrum, which seems to be the trend these days. Also, the infrared is becoming more and more popular. Growers feel that it helps their plants flower more profusely. On the flip side, we have a Sosun driver and we have the all-important dimmer switch. So I'm ready, uh, ready to get started. Let's hustle over to the test chamber and we'll see what kind of numbers this one produces. We want to take a minute today to show you our test chamber, which is a very nice two foot by two foot grow tent that was provided to us by Yellow Sky. We also want to show you our grid. We have a 16 square grid. Each square is six inches. We take a measurement from each square. We also take a dead center reading that gives us 17 total readings. We add those together, divide by 17, that gives us the average PPFD for the entire grow area. And then that's the number that we use to compute the daily light integral. All right, we've been reviewing the BloomSpec S1000. We have the BloomSpec ready to go. It's blazing away, hung at a level 12 inches of height. So we're going to button up the test chamber, and we'll have that all-important dead center reading here coming right up for you. Okay, there it is, 823. That's dead center for the BloomSpec S1000 at 12 inches, 823. So I'll complete the full PPFD grid. We'll post that. We'll also post the test lab review sheet. We'll stop by the watt meter, see what the actual watt usage is, and then we'll go on ahead and wrap this one up. So I want to thank you for stopping by. Hope you have a good one, and we'll see you next time.